Hey everyone, I hope you're doing well. We are officially on the other side of Labor Day weekend, which historically is when uh, the church and its ministries uh, get back going. And this year, even though COVID has uh, restricted the way in which we're doing it, uh, we are starting back up in so many different ways. And we thought it'd be good to record a quick video to just highlight uh, some of the things that are taking place. And you'll receive more detailed communication in the days and weeks to come. First, let me give you a financial update with where we stand. Um, our fiscal year runs through the end of September, and you received a communication from me a few weeks ago with a challenge. And the challenge is that we, despite the crisis that we are in, would love to meet budget and ensure that all of our ministries and missions would be able to continue on unhindered uh, by financial difficulties. Uh, I want to thank you for the way you have responded. The Lord has been so gracious to provide for our church and um, our budget goal for giving is actually within reach. So let me just explain exactly where we need to be in order to meet budget. In the next few weeks toward the end of September, we need to raise um, an extra 150,000 above and beyond our normal patterns of giving uh, tithes and offerings. And so uh, I want to encourage everyone to consider giving sacrificially, generously to your local church in the coming weeks so that we can uh, meet budget in a year that uh, we did not anticipate meeting budget. The second big thing coming up is um, our applications to uh, the race series I did um, on my podcast. If you listen to that, you know that I ended that podcast by saying we have direct specific application for our whole church community. Uh, that we want to challenge everyone to take seriously. Those are going to be unveiled uh, this week, at the end of this week, I believe Friday. And so let's all come together as a church and uh, respond well to the cultural moment that is upon us and show our world uh, what it looks like to be followers of Jesus in this time. And then beyond those two big announcements, uh, there's just a ton going on. Uh, worship is full. We've had to add an extra service, at least as full as uh, the restrictions will allow it to be. Uh, we've added an extra service. All those services are full and we're rejoicing over that. Our parish groups are starting back this week. We have nearly 400 people signed up uh, to be in parish groups and homes throughout our city. We are excited about that opportunity. Our new Sunday school pods are beginning. Uh, women's ministry, men's ministry, youth ministry, there is just so much taking place here at the church and we are really excited and we want you to be a part of it. So uh, COVID has certainly changed the way we do ministry, but COVID cannot stop the ministries of our church. So let's come together. Let's press onward and upward for the glory of Christ and the good of the bluegrass.